This is the speaking test of the International English Language Testing System. The examiner is Michelle Lester. Good afternoon. Can you tell me your full name, please? Good afternoon. My name is Ramanjit Singh. And what shall I call you? You can call me Raman. Where are you from? I come from India, originally from the city of Ludhiana. It is located at the north side of the state of Punjab. All right. So in the first part of the exam, I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself. Let's talk about the weather. Tell me about the weather in your country. Mm, in general, we have quite a mild climate, but uh, perhaps because of global warming, it can get quite hot in the summer. We have also had a lot of flooding in parts of the country, uh, which have also increased in recent years. What kind of weather do you like best? Honestly speaking, I don't like extreme weather conditions. Rainy weather or really hot sunny days don't appeal to me at all. I prefer the weather during autumn. It's not too hot and the days also get longer. What kind of weather do you like when you go on holiday? To be honest, we usually spend our holidays walking in the countryside. So I prefer mild weather because it's not very enjoyable walking in heavy rain and uh, not too sunny either as it's easy to get sunburned if you are outside a lot of the day. Would you prefer to live in a country with a hot or a cold climate? Actually, I don't really like extreme weather conditions. The climate is quite mild in my country and uh, it never really gets uncomfortable. I'm really not at all keen on hot weather, so I wouldn't like to live anywhere where it gets sweltering hot. Let's move on to talk about exercise. Do you like to keep fit? Mm, yes, I take part in a lot of different sports. I play cricket for my college and uh, go swimming once or twice a week. Having said that, I'm not fond of going to the gym. I find that a bit boring. Which sports are popular in your country? Mm, cricket, probably. It's certainly the one that most people talk about and uh, watch on TV, even if they don't play it. However, other things like gymnastics is also very popular and uh, possibly the activity that most people take part in. Did you do any sports when you were younger that you don't do now? I used to play basketball when I was at school, but uh, I wasn't very good at it and uh, didn't continue with it when I left. We used to do gymnastics as well and uh, I enjoyed that. But again, I didn't do that once I finished school. Is there a sport that you'd like to do you have never done before? You know, I can't swim, but uh, I would love to learn. I have had lessons in the past, but uh, I found it quite difficult. I'm always disappointed when I go on holidays with my friends and can't join them in the swimming pool or in the sea. Now, moving on to the second part of the test, I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for one or two minutes. Before you talk, you have one minute to think about what you are going to say. You can make some notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yes. Here is your topic. Describe a meal that you like to eat.
remember, you have one or two minutes for this, so don't worry if I stop you. I'll tell you when the time is up. Can you start speaking now, please? Mm, so food plays an important part in my life. So this is a good question. It's really hard to choose just one meal as uh, there are several things I enjoy eating. But uh, if I had to choose one, it would be a curry. Perhaps one with chicken from a restaurant near where I live. We eat a lot of foreign food at home. For example, Chinese, Italian, Mexican. Usually my friends and I will take it in turns to cook. And uh, we have curry at least once a week. Honestly speaking, our cooking is okay most of the time. But uh, we have a takeaway on Friday evening as a treat. It's always difficult to decide what to have. But uh, I try to persuade them to order Indian food. <laughs> In the area where I live, there are a lots of Indian restaurants. And uh, I have probably tried all of them. But there's one in particular that makes really nice curries. There are so many different kinds and uh, it depends on your taste, which one you would like best. What makes Indian food special for me is uh, all the spices used. I usually order a hot curry, a dish with the extra chili in it. The first few mouthfuls burn a bit, of course, but uh, you slowly get used to the heat. The food is always beautifully cooked and uh, they often give you something free, like uh, small side dishes. We've been talking about the subject of food and I'd like to discuss this subject with you with some more general questions relating to this topic. First, what is the appeal of eating out in a restaurant? I think one reason is that others do all the work, cooking the food, serving it and washing up afterwards. But also it's exciting to eat out, especially if it's a nice restaurant with the high quality food. What do you think makes a good dinner host? Well, let me think. Mm, I think the host should be able to cook. It wouldn't be a very nice evening if the meal wasn't tasty. I think it's important that a host makes you feel comfortable as well. And uh, they should also be good at keeping the conversations going to encourage everyone to have a good time. Fast food is often criticised by food experts, so why is it so popular with people? Mm, probably because it's quick and convenient. If you have had a busy day at work or have been studying all day long, you might not want to spend time cooking. In some places, you can just drive in, order your food, pay and drive home. So it's very easy. Do you think it's always best to eat food with ingredients that have been produced locally? You know, I think it's good for the environment. It means food isn't being transported around the country or even around the world. It's obviously also good for the local economy. If food is bought from farmers and other food producers in the area. Is it important to eat together at the dinner table rather than in front of the TV, for example? Mm, my parents always made me and my sister eat at the table at mealtimes. We weren't allowed to have our mobile phones with us when we were eating. So yeah, in my opinion, this was a good idea as it meant we were able to talk to each other and uh, find out what was going on in our lives at the time. How can we best encourage people to eat a healthy diet? To be honest, I think you need to start by educating children so that they get into good habits. It's a good idea to encourage them to help prepare food. I think there's more chance they'll eat things they normally wouldn't like. 
if they are involved more in cooking. That is the end of the speaking test. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.